precedent is established that a president can be removed on the basis of such vague and recurring and open-ended and targeted terms as abuse of power, this will just be the beginning of a recurring weaponization of impeachment whenever one house is controlled by one party and the presidency is controlled by another party. Professor Dershowitz was right, and he was brilliant a year ago defending President Trump in the United States Senate during that impeachment hoax. He's not back this time. I wonder why, Professor Dershowitz. We got a trial next week. You're good at this stuff. Why aren't you on this case, sir? Well, I'm defending the Constitution in the court of public opinion. Um, I didn't want to have to defend the president's speech. I defended on constitutional grounds. Uh, I don't approve of the speech that he made uh, prior to the invasion of the Capitol, but it was perfectly protected by the Constitution. And I don't think there's jurisdiction in the Senate to put him on trial once he's left office. And I'm going to continue to make those arguments in the court of public opinion. Okay. I mean, uh, you didn't approve of the speech, uh, but still, this is a great, you know, great opportunity. And again, I don't know. I'm just curious, like, like court of public opinion is one thing. Actually, let me ask you this. This seems like a far weaker case than the one a year ago, far simpler to defend. And perhaps it's not even worth the effort. I've heard, we talked to some of the lawyers who are involved and we said, Hey, maybe don't even show up. I mean, there's no chance that they're going to win. Why even honor the proceedings? Why even dignify them? Is it Look, because it's a simple case? It's not only a simple case. It's political theater. And I'm neither a politician nor an actor. Uh, the best evidence of political theater is Jamie Raskin, my former student, uh, issuing this letter today demanding that the president testify. That's just pure showmanship. Uh, you know, it's a game of political chicken. If the president responds, as he did through his lawyers, that he's not going to testify, they're going to go, na 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 na. see, the president won't testify. He must have something to hide. Uh, they know that he was not going to testify. No lawyer would allow uh, a client to walk into a perjury trap, into a hostile environment where he wouldn't be asked questions. He would be uh, accused. I'm sure the president would love to appear in front of the former president, in front of the Senate, just to have his say, but his lawyers are correctly advising him uh, not to participate in this political theater. Hey, that Jamie Raskin, your former student, congressman now. And you know what's interesting? In 2017, January, he stood up and you know what he did? He objected to the electoral count. The same thing the left is saying is a traitorous, seditious act. You know, the thing that happened on January 6th with the objection? He did the same thing in January of 17. Did you know that? Well, and I'm sure he objected to the 2000 election, as I did and many others did. That's our right. We have a right to demand uh, recounts, to demand judicial review. That's part of being an American. You challenge, you challenge, you challenge. It's part of being a lawyer. Uh, and to impeach a president because he, maybe erroneously, uh, made statements about the election, which are particularly covered by the Constitution. It's political speech at its core. Yeah. Uh, would do so much violence to the Constitution. It would do so much damage long-term to the Constitution. And I think this impeachment thing is going to hurt the Democrats, it's going to hurt the Constitution, and it's going to hurt all Americans. You know, if you read the brief, and I've read it now thoroughly and written two articles about it, it basically says that the Senate can impeach any of us. Uh, there's no statute of limitations. There's no limitation that the person has to hold office or ever hold office. Uh, anybody who may want to run for president in the future. Look, if the Republicans come up with a young, viable, terrific candidate to run against Biden in 2024, the Democrat House can just impeach that person and then disqualify him from running. Do we really want several hundred members of Congress to tell 200 million American people who vote who we should vote for and who we can't vote for. That's up to the public. It's not up to members of Congress. And so this is a very dangerous precedent that's being set. And by the way, the brief doesn't cite a single case ever in American history where a former office holder was ever 
disqualified from running for future office. This would be the first time. It's establishing a new and dangerous precedent, and I hope the Senate rejects it. Man, President Trump just got under their skin big time. They still have Trump derangement syndrome, and President Trump is now um, in Florida. By the way, this to me is the open and shut nature of the case. This little piece of evidence from January 6th, uh, the president speaking to that peacefully assembled crowd. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. I mean, isn't it like right there, open and shut? We had Mr. Castor on last night. He is one of the lawyers. I mean, like, that's it right there. He, he said it out loud. No, no, no. I understand the president didn't actually say that. How do I know the president didn't say that? Because it wasn't on CNN and it wasn't on PBS and yeah. it wasn't in the media. So the president obviously couldn't have said it. You just made it up. <laughs> you probably just created that tape because I believe CNN and CNN didn't show that. And recently on Frontline, they had a whole show on Trump and they showed that speech, but they left out that phrase just the way they left out the term when he talked about good people on both sides saying, I don't include neo-Nazis or white nationalists. They left that out. The kind of editing they're doing, the doctoring of tapes that's going on at CNN, I'm suing CNN for doctoring the tape of my presentation in front of the Senate when they took out the phrase illegal or unlawful suggesting that I thought the president could do anything he wants, even engage in illegal conduct. So you just can't trust some of the media to tell you the truth. Of course, when he said peaceful and patriotic, that's the end of the case. That makes everything he said covered by the First Amendment to the Constitution. You know, it's great. Uh, you These days, you don't need the media. The media is plural for medium. You've got to go through it. They can distort it. You can access all of this stuff, that speech, that he gave in its entirety, the moment in Trump Tower where he specifically said, find people on both sides, except the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists. I'm not talking about them. And you're right. They always delete that. They always leave that out. They always omit it. You know, Jefferson, who once said after he was president, those who don't read any newspapers are better informed sometimes than those who read the wrong newspapers. And if you uh, don't watch CNN and don't watch some of these other stations, you're much better informed than you do because they mislead you. They tell you things that didn't happen and they don't tell you things that did happen. And it's really a tragedy because Americans think that they can believe the facts that they've seen on television and they just have to check for themselves. And it's getting you now we got to worry about checking for ourselves because Google and YouTube you know, that used to be the raw data, and now they're playing right. games as well. Well, Professor Dershowitz, thank goodness uh, you're in the court of public opinion and you're still making well, things happen. you can hear on my podcast, The Dirt Show, every day. Which is one of the hottest podcasts around, and it's very entertaining, by the way, in addition to uh, being quite informative. The Dirt Show, wherever, your podcast, wherever you get podcasts, and uh, they're free, by the way. Good stuff. Thank you, yeah. Professor. Uh, thank you. Pleasure. You, you bet. Take care. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them. Tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.